Senator Mitt Romney, uh, case in point, put out a tweet calling me a treasonous liar uh, with no, 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 uh, obviously saying that I was, you know, a traitor and a Russian asset or a puppet or what, whatever it was. Um, but having no, no evidence to back it up, we sent him a legal letter saying, hey, you, you've just accused me of a crime. I still serve in the U.S. Army Reserves of a crime that is punishable by death under the Uniform Code of Military Justice of committing treason. Yet, and you're in a position of great power and influence where if you really believe that was true, then there are things that you can do. Actually, there are actions that you should take. Well, if you, if you, of think, course, that, that's right. if you think that a lieutenant colonel in the United States Army Reserves has committed treason, also former member of Congress, ran for president. Well, like, what are you doing about it? What exactly. are you doing about it? Yeah, come nothing. arrest me. Exactly. Come, yeah, send the cops to my house. Exactly. Absolutely nothing. D had no response publicly or privately to our legal letter demanding, hey, you've made this statement. Back it up if you really meant it. Uh, but but that's just one of those many examples where they, they treat this so lightly and don't have any concern for the chilling effect that it has on our democracy, on us being able as people to say, hey, you know, all this tens of billions of dollars you are sending, taking out of our pockets and our wallets to send to Ukraine, like even just asking, where is this money going? How is it advancing the interests of the United States? How is it advancing our own national security interests? Even asking those questions invites those smear attacks, uh, not only on people like Rand Paul, who said, hey, maybe we should like actually track this money. Uh, what to speak of, of other people who are you know, just trying to live their lives and trying to struggle exactly. just to survive and being told, well, hey, the, the IRS is going to send over 87,000 new agents to go and comb through your taxes, you know, everyday American or small business owner. But how dare you say that we need to hold uh, Ukraine accountable for all this money that we're yeah. spending and sending them?